Hey guys, this is Adam for FX79.com, and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool method to recover lost or forgotten Windows passwords. Uh, this is a project called OFCRACK, or OPH Crack, whatever you want to call it, and it's located at OFCRACK.SourceForge.net. This link is in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, this is a very safe program. As you can see, it's hosted on SourceForge, so it's not a virus or whatever, and um, it is you know, by a reliable company and everything. So, uh, we're going to go to this site, and this will work if you've locked yourself out of every single Windows pass or account you have. Uh, it'll still work. You can log into OFCRACK without even booting into Windows, and then uh, recover your password, shut down, and reboot into Windows, and you'll be able to uh, log in with the password that you have gotten from OFCRACK. So, we're going to go to this site, and we're going to download OFCRACK Live CD. Now, as you can see here, there are two versions. One is called OFCRACK SP or XP, sorry, and one is called OFCRACK Vista. Now, this depends on what you're cracking. Um, if you're cracking an XP password, then download the XP version. If you're down, if you're cracking a uh, Vista or Windows 7 password, then download this version. As you can see, I'm running Windows 7, but if I was running Windows 7 and then moving it to another computer which had Windows XP and cracking the password on that one, then I would want to download XP. But since I'm cracking the password on this computer, it's obviously running Windows 7, so I'll download Vista. Uh, so go ahead and click that, and it will be in its download. It is quite a large file, uh, 496 megabytes, so it may take you a while. Uh, for the sake of time, I've already downloaded it. It's right here. And what we're going to do is we're also going to go to their FAQ page, which is right here, again, link in the description. And we're going to scroll down into how to install Live CD on the USB stick. <laughs> and then we're going to go to Windows and then follow the instructions. Basically, all we need to do is download this program called tazusb.exe. Go ahead and open it up. If it doesn't download as a .exe, don't worry about it, just run it. Hit OK. Hit Next. And then we're going to go to the place where we found or saved the ISO file. So that would be in my downloads, and it's sitting right there. Hit open, hit next. And then. And then for destination USB drive, uh, my, I'm using the E drive, as you can see. Here I have a removable flash drive for the uh, E drive, so I'll go ahead, and go ahead and hit next, hit install, and it's going to take a little bit, but it's going to basically install a boot folder to your uh, flash drive, and as soon as it's done, I'll restart the tutorial. Okay, so it paused for a while at that uh, create folder E, but it, it only took like two minutes and then it extracted all the tables and everything. And as you can see on our uh, flash drive, we have boot tables, md5 sum, whatever that is, uh, and a readme. And this just bas has basic information. We go ahead next and then finish. And basically what we've done is created a uh, version of Linux. As you can see, we have uh, you know Linux on here and it's under the boot folder 
and it's able to uh, run from your uh, and you will be able to run this per this version of Linux as soon as you start up your computer without even booting into Windows and now I'll go to my crappy camera and show you the rest of it since I can't screen cap it alright so there's the flash drive uh, with all the files on it that we were just taking a look at and here the flash drive is plugged into my computer now uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and shut down the computer so that we can restart it into Linux and therefore uh, begin using Ofcrack so we'll just say yes to all that and log that off uh, you can at this point if you're transferring this flash drive to a different computer you can go ahead and just take it out and plug it into the other computer while it's uh, shut down and then boot from this. I'll show you how to do this here as soon as it finishes shutting down. But for here, we're just going to keep it in this computer because this is the same computer that we're cracking it on. So, yeah. Alright, so there it is shut off. And by the way, this is going to look a bit different for you guys because this is a custom built computer. I built this one uh, by myself. So. Basically what happens when the computer starts up is it's going to display the maker of the computer. In my case, it displays the uh, motherboard information. And it's a big white screen, but for you guys it might say Dell or whatever. And it's going to tell you how to get into the multi-boot menu or the BIOS. Now usually it's the F12 key as you start up, but just read your information uh, screen to see how to do this. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Basically screen should pop up just about now and there we go it says F12 boot menu right there in the bottom so I'm gonna shut this off again and then as it boots up make sure your flash drive is plugged in first and then just spam the F12 key so that it knows that it's supposed to get into the boot menu. And if it worked, that should bring up the multi-boot menu instead of loading Windows as it normally does. Alright, so as soon as it starts up, just spam the F12 key a few times, and it should load the multi-boot menu instead of booting into Windows. There we go. So here's the multi-boot menu. It may look a bit different from uh, your operating system, but what we're going to do is go down to, uh, I can't remember exactly what it is, if it's USB, uh, CD-ROM, or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it's zip. So just scroll down to you want, and hit enter. And there we go. Yeah, that was zip. All right, so it may look the options may look a bit different, but it should just look like USB drive or something like that, and just do that, and just let it go. It's gonna look really creepy. It's gonna look like your computer is getting destroyed, but it's not. It's just loading uh, Linux, and this is what your computer does every time it boots up. It just hides that from you with that pretty Windows little squirrely thing that tells you it's loading. Um, for Linux, it just displays it on the screen because nobody really cares. And as soon as Linux is loaded, you can see this is we're inside Linux right now, and Ofcrack has loaded. So, as you can see, there are all the names of the uh, users on this computer. First one is administrator, second one's guest, third one's Adam, and uh, fourth one's home group user. Now. Um, it automatically starts cracking the passwords as soon as the program starts up, so you don't even have to hit anything. Now, as you can see, it's already cracked my password. That's Adam right there. And it's cracked the password. I set it to test123. So there you go. And you can see it's displayed the RAM usage and what table you're using and how far it is along. Alright, so once you've got your password, just copy it down, and then we can go ahead and just shut off the computer. This time when the computer starts up, just don't hit anything and let it run as normal. Okay. And now Windows is up, and we're going to type in TES123. So that's my password. And you're back into your account. 
I hope this has helped you guys out. If it has, it'd be awesome if you could press the subscribe and also favorite and like this video. Um, if you could also leave a comment. That'd be cool, too. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, and you're welcome.